It has been 37 years since cup racing in Nashville. And now, NASCAR is back. Chase Elliott immediately making it three wide. Oh, they're all fifth in the corner. Bowman and Chase both almost into the fence. Losing lots of spots down the back straightaway. We got one in the fence here. Quinn Hoff in the double zero. He had some issues in qualifying, had contact with the, uh, oh, we got a tire oh, man. come off a car. Yeah, I didn't see what happened to the double zero because as you pointed out, we have so much action at the front there. We're going to see all oh, the tires already off the car into the fence. My gosh. The AMR safety team to him immediately. The anger kind of cools off a little bit. You, hope <laughs> it, you don't get back to you too soon. There's three wide. Daniel Suarez in the 99 on the far inside. And up into the fence, Blaney. Big hit for the 12. Wow. I had mentioned he was a lap down. He was racing with the 37 for the free pass position. Something blew out. Rotor blew out. Such a short run. It's hard to imagine it melted to be, right? But something came off there. Part right there. Yep. That looks like brake rotor, though, bouncing uh, up against the wall. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So the rotor comes off, and that cuts the tire down. And this team from. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. This team from even before the race started had a terrible day. Had to pit to repair damage when he pulled up on the racetrack and then didn't have brakes. And now ultimately part failure and probably in that brake system ends their day. Blaney's season though, a win at Atlanta has him in the playoffs. Fourth caution of the race has come out and you see Chris Buescher slow on the racetrack. Also saw Justin Haley in the 77 with an issue with that car. So Both difficulties the, for these cars. Yeah. Both those cars got right front tire issues getting down into turn one. Both of them in the fence. They're running 15th and 17th. Both of them. Oh, wow. wow. Two separate situations. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Wow. So yeah. I, I wonder if the seven didn't or the 77 didn't have a rotor or something come apart and then the 17 yeah, run over it. Something. Yeah, chased them in there with the debris. It just seems odd that two go in at the same time. That's a that's a big implications for that 17 car, Chris Busher. He. He came in here, you know, on that bubble to make the playoffs. He was the last driver in. Clear Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin knows the Amarillo on the bottom of the racetrack. Just, can, just simply out drove him getting into turn oh, one. Oh, the 14's up the wall. Briscoe. Turn three and four. Missed the corner, got to the fence. And the caution comes out. And it's... Uh, so that's two brake issues on the Stuart Haas cars. We heard Harvick complain a little bit today about his brakes as well.